This will be an overview of the Spark robotic control software to include control and basic operation. Starting with the control panel, the DRO, or digital readout, is at the top and gives you the current position of your machine based on the last starting position set. To the right is the overall position of the torch on the table. Below that, you'll see the arc voltage readout. While cutting, there will be a value which indicates the voltage of the plasma arc. This is used to regulate torch height during cuts. Directly below this is the control bar used to start, stop, and select options for cutting. The play button will automatically start from the first cut if left-clicked, and will resume a cut if right-clicked. The resume function is very useful for continuing a cut after a collision or malfunction of the torch or air supply. If the shift key is held down while pressing the play button, the machine will simulate the entire cut without firing the torch. There is also a path forward and path reverse button, which will cycle through the paths in the order that they will be cut. There are fast forward and rewind buttons, which will move to the first cut or the last cut of the operation. At any time, the stop button can be pressed. It, as well as the escape key, acts as an emergency stop on your keyboard. Below this, to the left, is the software control of the movement of your machine. The left, right, and up and down correlate to the arrow keys on the keyboard, and the page up and page down keys for the z-axis movement. To the right-hand side is your project position. With this, you can move your torch to a starting point on any piece of metal and pick a corner to choose as the starting position. Traditionally, the bottom left arrow will be used to set the 0, 0 of the x and y axis. The position of the project from this point will be laid up and to the right of the bottom left-hand corner. However, in some situations, the ability to choose a different corner can be helpful. Also, if needed, you can choose to center the project onto an existing piece of metal. Below these arrows, you'll see three buttons. The Home All button sets the home position of the table. The Zero Z button is used to set the zero point of your Z axis when setting up a project. The Move Zero Zero button returns your machine to the zero point set while setting up a project. In the center of the movement buttons is the Torch Fire button, which allows you to manually fire the torch. Moving further down, you'll see the Tool Settings menu. Within this drop-down menu will be specific tools for the amperage used and the type of thickness of the material being used. This should be selected appropriately before every project to ensure successful operation. Below are the parameters set by the tool setting drop-down menu. Cutting speed is the standard speed the torch will travel while cutting. Cutting speed 2 is a secondary cutting speed for tight corners and radiuses. Cutting height is the mechanical height set during the touch-off sequence. The voltage setting controls the height of your torch during the cut and can be adjusted up to raise the torch during cutting and down to lower the torch during cutting. To the left of that is the torch height control off on button. It is used to manually turn off the torch height controller if needed. The pierce height is the height at which the torch will fire when initially piercing the material before it moves to its cut height. Below this is the pierce time. On thicker metal, we need to set a pierce time delay to ensure that the plasma arc has fully penetrated the material before motion starts. And lastly, the retract height is how far the z-axis will retract before moving to the next cut. Moving to the right-hand side of the screen, you will notice that there is a green cross here that moves in conjunction with the up, down, left, right button and the page up and page down buttons. This arrow indicates the position of the torch on your table. You can use the right-click function anywhere on this to move the torch, select a path to cut, or to select a specific point on a path to cut from. Across the top bar, the first button is used to import a new project. The second button can be clicked to run a job report that will give you a total number of pierces, total length of the cut, and estimated time of completion. Further to the right is an outline button that when pressed will move the machine around the outside perimeter of your project to ensure proper alignment. The connection indicator will show the current status of the connection from the computer to the controller and can be clicked to establish communication. The gear icon opens the configuration menu. This menu contains all settings applicable to your table. Before changing settings, please contact Spark Robotic. To open a new project, Click the Import Projects button on the top left-hand corner of your screen. 
From here, you will click the top left file button and navigate to the project you wish to cut. You will notice that your project will come up on the lower left hand side. In the work board, press the fourth button over with the green arrow, indicating a new project on your page. If you'd like to add additional parts to your project, click the third button with the arrow and cross after selecting the file that you wish to add. In the right hand side, the edit box allows you to edit your current operation. The first button will undo the last action. You can select a part and press the second button to duplicate it. The third button can be used to disable certain paths within a part. And the fourth button will delete a path within a part. Below that are the scale, rotate, and mirror functions. After you've brought in your part, you can select to use the cam function within the program. This gives you the ability to set offsets and lead-ins and lead-outs, as well as reverse cutting any outside paths. After you have set up your project, you can click the check button to move this project to the main screen. From this point, you will move your machine into position and set your project position with the position arrow keys and zero Z button. Select the correct tool settings for your project. To ensure that your project will fit on the piece of metal you wish to cut, Use the right click and move here function on the right hand screen. At this point, you can press the play button to automatically start your project. You will notice as the program moves from one path to the next, it will highlight which path it is currently cutting. If the stop key is pressed in the middle of a cut, simulating a collision or plasma cutting fault, right clicking the play button will resume the cut at the exact point that a collision or malfunction stopped the operation. This concludes the overview of the Spark Robotic Control Software. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us by clicking the link below.